Hey y'all, this is a special on the road edition of the Liberal Rednecks. Let's talk about Roy Moore for a little bit. We're on the cusp of a special election in Alabama to determine who's gonna take the Senate seat vacated by Jeff Sessions. And the people of Alabama's choices are Democrat Doug Jones and a poorly written villain from a fucking Dukes of Hazard episode. Seriously, y'all, even when you take into account that the man that they're replacing is a fucking hobbit from an alternate universe where J.A.R. Tolkien owns slaves, Roy Moore is an unbelievable bag of shit. He's a judge who's been kicked off the bench twice for refusing to do his job. He's taken money from his own nonprofit. He's openly admitted that he thinks the last time America was great was before the Civil War. He thinks all legislation should be drafted by Jesus, and he presumably believes that the devil invented dinosaurs and gay people. This dude represents everything that's wrong with the South. He goes on stage in a fucking cowboy hat with his gun out, for God's sake. Oh, and turns out the only thing Yosemite Sham likes more than hating things that are different is sexually assaulting teenage girls. So we got a winner here. But to be fair, even some people in the GOP don't like Roy Moore. Mitch McConnell called for him to step down. Dude, when Mitch McConnell thinks that you suck, you need to reevaluate your fucking life. But of course, he still has a good shot at winning. A lot of people are writing it off as a victory for him already. People around the country are just like, well, yeah, it's Alabama. They'd elect a Camaro if you duct taped a hunting rifle to the side of it and made its horn quote the worst parts of the Bible. And some people say it don't even matter. But even if Jones wins in 2020, the Republicans are gonna take that seat right back. So it's all a moot point. Yeah, well, you know what? Fuck all that. For me, this ain't about a victory for Doug Jones or the Democrats. It's bigger than that. For me, this is about a victory for the good South. The South that I know exists. It's about sending a message to Moore and all of his ilk that they don't speak for all of us, that they don't represent us, that we are not like them, that we're better. And I believe that the people of Alabama can send that message, I really do. And if you're one of those people in Alabama who's like me, and you've been politically discouraged for years because you look around and you know you're a blue dot in a red sea and you think, what's it matter? If I, if I vote or get involved, what's it matter? I live in Alabama. Well, if you're one of those people in Alabama or anywhere in the South and you felt alone and you think all hope is lost and none of it matters and all of that, I got something I want you to see. All right, we are live on stage in Birmingham at the wonderful Star Dome in front of 500 Alabamans and I have something I want to ask them. Birmingham, does Roy Moore speak for you? Tuesday, the New South belongs to us. Fuck Roy Moore. Fuck you.